Okay, so welcome back to our channel. So this time I will uh, speak uh, Tagalog also so that you will understand some uh, other terminologies or how the program reads your compiler. So first, ang gagawin natin ngayon is using for loop. Okay, so for loop is uh, also a part of the looping. So ang syntax ng for loop is like this. As you can see, this is the do while loop uh, syntax. This is also a while loop syntax. Then here, I will show you the for loop. So for loop is this one. For initialization. Next is iteration. Uh, no, no, no. This is the condition. Then iteration. Iteration or increment or decrement. Okay. Increment or decrement. So it's like this. Okay. Then this one. As you can see. All are in one lines. As you can see here, the iteration, uh, the initialization in the top, the iteration is in the center, the condition, uh, the condition is in the last uh, line. Here also the first initialization is first line. Here, pangalawa is dito, sa second line, and iteration is nasa gitna. But here in for loop, it's in one line. So lahat nandito na initialization, condition, and iteration is all in one line. Now, paano natin to i-apply sa programming? So, open natin to. As you can see, these are the last uh, video that we tackle. So, delete ko na muna to para mas maintindihan natin yung from scratch. Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon is looping. So, for loop, gagawa tayo ng program na kung saan <clears throat> magpiprint tayo ng numbers. For example, Ang gagawin natin ng numbers is, for example, from 1 to 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, magpiprint tayo ng number na ganito ang output. So, how to do that one? So, first is for loop. In, for example, x is equal to 0. x is less than to 10. Then, x plus plus. So, simulan natin dito, ang initialization ko is 1, then, mag-equal tayo dito to 10. Para from 1 to 10. Then, print f. Okay. We will display x. So, once you run this one, so, when you, once you run this program, it will display like this. We'll try again. We'll try to run again. This this run. Uh, no, not that one. Compile run. Okay. Oops. Print F. He said print F. Print F. Okay. Wrong. We'll put here the percent D. Okay. Like this. Run. Of for loop initial declaration allowed Z9 in X steady name field. Oh, so I think here we will say X is equal to 1. We will try this one. We will try this. We will try this one. Okay, so there is different syntax in C programming. In C programming, the, the declaration, this is okay. This is the initialization, condition, and iteration. So this is the declaration, this is the initialization, condition, and iteration. 
so but in other programming you can declare like this here okay but here in uh, C it's not accepting this one so you need to declare first the variable so this is the program for x is equal to 1 then x is less than or equal to 10 then x plus plus once the condition is true okay ito lang yung tatandaan nyo ito lang nasa gitna once this one is true and plus 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 1 means plus 1 once the condition is true pasok siya dito so magpiprint siya ng x1 next na balik niya dito magiging 2 na siya so print niya hanggang maprint niya yung 1 to 10 okay so madali lang siya di ba so ngayon May gagawin pa tayo dito na uh, example. So ngayon, kung nagets nyo na, marunong na kayong mag uh, print ng 1 to 10. Kung gusto nyo maging 1 to 20, padlitan nyo lang ito ng 20. Okay. So you can see, 1 to 20. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo nag a sa user, magpa-input kayo kung how many numbers you want to print like that. Ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin is ganito. Uh, using for loop, ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung mga even number. Yung even number is divided by 2. Tama. So, ang even number dito is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yung mga odd number is 1, 2, 3. 1, 3, 7, uh, 5, 7, 9. So, ngayon, ang gusto ko, uh, ang gagawin natin is like this. Is enter, enter, how many numbers you want to print. Yan. Then, we will say the uh, the even number numbers are then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 then so on it's depend on the number here for example you put 20 so 12 14, 16, 18 this is the output that we are going to uh, program. So, paano yun? Paano natin gagawin to sa programming? So, ang gagawin natin dyan is ganito lang. Madali lang siya, no? So, balik tayo dito sa programming. Okay, tayo dito. In num. Always num ang ginagamit ko. Depende naman yan sa inyo. Reading x, a, or any variables you can use. It's depend on you. But me, is I'm using num. Magpaprint ko lang ako. So, for example, print f. Lagay natin dito. Uh, sabi dito is ito. Copy ko na lang yan para mabilis. Yan. Sabi dito, please enter how many numbers you want to print. So, scan f. Okay, natin dito percent D and then okay, natin is now. Okay, once na naka-input na siya, kailangan papalitan natin to ng num. Kasi, ito yung number na i-input nyo. For example, naglagay ka dito ng 20, so magiging 20 rin to. Pag naglagay, naglagay ka dito ng 10, ito magiging 10 na. So, magiging 1 to 10. Pag naging 20 to, 1 to 20. So, lagi magsisimula sa 1. Then, next is kukunin natin yung even number. So, paano natin kukunin yung even number? Sabi daw sa even number is yung mga walang remainder o pwedeng divide 2. Okay. So, para makuha mo yan, gagawin ka dito ng if statement if x modulo 2 pag walang remainder okay, ito yung remainder ito yung ito yung remainder. Pag ang remainder niya 0 Pasok sa dito. Ito modulo 2. 
modulo 2, it means pag modulo, ang modulo ito yon Parang percent siya. Meron tawag dyan, modulo. Ito yung multiplication, ito yung division, uh, ito yung addition, ito naman yung modulo. Pag, pag uh, ito, ma ang modulo is parang divided by yan, parang 1 divided by 2, pag may remainder siya, okay, pag may remainder siya, dahil hindi siya papasok dito, pero pag wala siyang remainder, kasi 0, may uh, papasok siya dito. So, lagyan natin ito dito, int x, okay, so, try natin i-run. So, ito na yung program. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng number, kung ilan yung number na lalagyan natin, for example, 10, so, 10 na ikot yan. Iikot to ng 10, pero ang kukunin niya lang is yung walang mga reminder, kaya mga 0. Okay. So, ang ilalagay mo dyan, for example, 20. Oops. Pag ganon, ang error, kailangan lagyan mo ng ito. Ampersand. So, kailangan mo yan ilagay para hindi mag-stop yung program. For example, 20. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. For example, again, we will run again. So, for example, 100. It will display up to 100. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, up to 100. Now, what if gusto ko naman kunin yung mga even number? Ang gusto ko, mga even num ah, mga add number. Kasi ito yung mga even number. Pag add, papalitan mo lang siya ng 1. Gusto mong sabihin, may remainder siya na uh, may remainder siya. Okay? Yung may butal siya. Hindi siya nag-divide 2. Okay, so para makita natin yung result, we will run, for example, 20. We will display here uh, the, EV, uh, the odd numbers. Okay? We'll try again. For example, 100. So, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, up to 99. So, I hope you understand this uh, sample. So, nan, nan, uh, madali lang tong mga ganitong example. But, the... the, the, the purpose of this video is to know, is you to know how the logic or how the process of for loop kung paano siya binabasa ng compiler. Kung paano, paano siya binabasa. So, kailangan marunong magbasa nito. Ito is one less than or equal. Pag nag-true siya dyan, papasok siya lagi dito. Ito naman, condition, pag nag-true siya dyan, pasok siya dito. Ipiprint so, ito, pag may remainder, pasok siya dito. Pero pag wala siyang remainder, wala siyang ipiprint. Okay? O, kung gusto niyong maintindihan pa, lagyan mo ng else. Lagyan mo ng printf. Lagyan mo dito. Ito yung mga add number, uh, even number, uh, even number, even number. Yan. Ito naman, mga add number. Yan. So, pag may remainder siya, pasok siya dito. Pag wala siyang remainder, pasok siya dito. Kaya pag niran mo siya, example, uh, 20, yan. Add number, 1. Even number, 2. Add number, 3. Even number, 4. So, so nagigets nyo na yan kasi once na my uh, for example yung 1 1 divide 2 may remainder siya diyan so dito papasok kaya pwedeng din yung add number tapos pagbalik niya magiging 2 na 2 divide divide 2 or modulo 2 wala siyang remainder so, pasok siya dito so i hope na gets niyo yung example natin okay so thank you and comment below if you have question